Hey, what's up everyone? I wanted to hop on here, make a quick video review of the Watco Butcher Block oil and finish for uh, for Butcher Block finish. Uh, this is this is food safe and this is something that will seal your Butcher Block countertops. As you can see here, this is something I did as a as a DIY installation with Butcher Block. It's really easy to uh, really easy to work with. It's something that's a cool alternative to uh, to granite or you know Corian or something. You don't really see Butcher Block a whole lot. So me and my wife like it because you still get the feel of the grain. But right now, here's an untreated piece from the installation. Everything I was reading, if you're going to use like a mineral oil or some sort of natural oil, you're going to have to re-oil every single week. And I was like, there's absolutely no way. So what we did was I actually contacted a friend who was a contractor. He recommended this. This is essentially something you can do every three to six months. And it is a fairly easy process. Essentially, what I do is pop this open like a paint can, get yourself a rag, dip it in the rag, and then just kind of rub it all down into the wood and let it sit for, I think it was like two or three hours. And uh, that was generally how that was. It was a really, really easy bit. And as you can see from the unfinished to the finished side, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it actually shows a lot of the grain and it gives a nice little, uh, almost like a luster to the wood. Uh, makes it a really, really cool finish. And uh, it is, you gotta make sure you sand it down first uh, with like a 220 grit or something, uh, some sort of fine sandpaper. And uh, again, before you do it, because it'll make it a really thin, I wish you could feel it through the, uh, through the phone, but you can't. And as far as water sealing, this being right here by the sink, I've had this here about six months and there's no warping, there's nothing there. Cause you know, when you do the dishes, you get all the water on the sink. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can do this here. Don't tell my wife. All right. As you can see the water right over here, it just beads right up on the wood. It actually doesn't, uh, doesn't soak in at all. And I could sit, I could let that sit there for an hour. That'll still be sitting there just beaded. So this does a really, really good job of sealing the wood. Uh, one of the concerns that we had with butcher block was water and warpage and stuff like that. But this, this stopped all that and put all of those concerns to bed. So it's really easy to apply, really easy to do DIY and it protects the wood really, really well.